no, no, no. E. Okay. Whew. Yes, you are going to hear some very strange noises as I try very hard to control my twitchy muscles. Okay. Mm. Hi guys, welcome back to my video. And today we're going to be doing dumb stuff. So I stayed up really late last night and did quite a bit, hoping to be able to show everything that I did today, but uh, if not, I'll just you know, make it into a couple videos anyway. But uh, yeah, I always appreciate you guys tuning in, and uh, let's get going. Just love the fact that I can now swim in acid. You know, that's not really a phrase that uh, you would hear in normal conversation, you know. Oh yeah, I can swim in acid. So glad I can swim in acid. I would uh, be highly suspect of pretty much anyone who, uh, who decided to take that approach to life even attempt something like that. I don't care what kind of charm you got, even if it had written right on it. Here, you use this charm, you can swim in acid. I'd be very suspect. Very, very suspect. But, uh, this is a very interesting area. I mean, those aren't snowflakes, it doesn't seem like. Like, so I'm just kind of wondering what exactly is falling from the sky here. It's, it kind of reminds me of the, uh, ah, dang it, no, don't fall all the way down, don't fall all the way, okay. Uh oh, oh crap, I am, I am in a bad position here. Oh crap, 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 crap. Oh, how did I not die? That is insane. I have no idea how I didn't die there. But, uh, yeah, no. Not, not good, not good. Not a, was not a fun position to be in. Will not be doing that again. Anyway, having these bugs like fall right in front of you is kind of weird. Ow. It's down here. What is that? Got all of this little, all of these like new little geo fountains here. Hmm. Tower of love. Mm, what kind of love? <laughs> I mean, it could be familial, could be friendly. Certainly hope it's not romantic. <laughs> oh yeah, well, you know what? <sighs> that noise in the background kind of, uh, kind of confirms my suspicions here. I, I would, I, I don't even want to know what's going on. Like, I don't even want to know. All of these things in, in jars. I haven't seen any other thing in jars. Only the grubs. So this is a guy who sits there shoving them in jars. They all stopped. He looks like uh, Darkness from Pajama Sam. 
Wow, this guy is... Well, let's say eccentric at best. He looks... Uh, he also looks kind of like your shade, you know? Like when you do the shade attacks and stuff like that. Ouch. Walked right into him. Sometimes I can't even turn around without just, like, getting bodied into something. Okay, this is not good. I am not... Uh, don't do this to me. Don't do this. Uh, don't do this. Maybe. Maybe. I can't remember what charms I have on, but it seems like my heal charm. Still. Uh, don't. Uh, crap. Okay, this is, it, it's got too much stuff on screen. It's suffering from multiple of the things that I complain about for multiple bosses. It's the fact that there's just too much, too much stuff on screen. Uh, come on, come on. Okay, finally. Chance to heal. Come on, I also want to see what you're thinking. Protected at last? Who's protected? I'll try as hard as I can to get, like, at least one dream nail in and see what these things are thinking during fights, but there's not a lot of opportunity. Like, uh, very, very little opportunity to get in a dream nail during the fights. Usually you just have to wait until they're stunned in some way or another. Are you a mimic? Nope. Are you a mimic? Nope. Are you a mimic? Nope. Okay. Phew. Phew. Oh, what's this? Collector's map? Locations of imprisoned grubs will be displayed. Well, that's awesome! Now I don't have to go around searching for them all the time. I can just follow the map. Well, that's good stuff. This is an interesting area, for sure. The room design and everything with the, like, all the cushions and everything in the walls behind and like, he's just kind of taken this place and made it a padded cell, it seems like. Very adequately so. I mean, the guy is is quite nuts, and I don't know what on earth he's trying to protect. But, uh... Anything? No? He certainly... Eh, wasn't doing a very good job, at least. I mean, I was able to come in pretty easily and completely mess up his whole operation, so... Oh. So that's how you open that way. Well, that's good. Now, I just need to go and get the... grubs. Or get the grub. But, uh... Let's see. Okay, but before I go too far into getting the grubs, I am going to, uh... See... Where... This... This is something that I was told to try. See if I could dash into it. No. Dashing into it does nothing. Maybe I had to wait for those, like, little fly things to be destroyed. I can try that again, but I don't think that that's going to open up. I, I know that's a false wall, so... Like, you don't have an empty room like this with everything in one particular way and then just a wall there without that being a false wall. So, anyway, let's, uh, 
I I'm gonna have to go a different way. Probably just more up the mountain in order to, to get there. So whatever's on the other side of that wall. Because the other side of this thing is that mountain. So as long as there's a mountain there. Oh, dang it. As long as there's a uh, mountain on that side, then I, it most likely just links up. This map seems to be pretty good at showing where things link up. So it's not too bad. Not too bad at all. I have a couple things to do here, including now that I have 1900 Geo, buy this last particular mask piece from this guy and then go and visit the grubs wow lots and lots of lots and lots and lots, and lots of grubs here on a seal this room is getting more loud than uh it was before. A little bit annoying to hear them in the background every time that you move around. So, uh, yeah. Let's check out this sus little bug here. Okay. Okay. Kind of a uh, interesting fanfic you got there. Ah, well, I hope your bed is soft, and I'm glad for you that it is. Because uh, you're, you're gonna be there yourself for quite a bit. Anyway, I also have a few things to do over here, including going over to this woman here. And depositing all of this much monies that I have. Uh, maybe I'll keep a hundred or so to pay Cornifer. Should I ever find him. But, uh, uh, well, you know what? I I'm sure that I'll get enough Geo on the way to Cornifer that I'm not going to have any problems. We'll see. We'll see. Then again, you know, thinking about it now, this area doesn't really have geo that Kalala. much geo opportunity. So much acid and then the, the jellyfish things like exploding and they don't give you much geo. Really, the only enemy that I see in here is the jellyfish. Maybe a couple other things, but not much. Hmm. Just a little bit lost, but I do remember this area. I remember that the it looked like the statues had their eyes kind of bleeding or whatnot. Now that I have the dream nail, maybe... Ah, see? Just what I thought. Please don't hurt me. Can't dream if you're still breathing. Sure you can. Challenge a warrior dream? Sure. Why not? Okay, well the music is... Weird. Not the worst, but not the best. Dang it. What's it with these floaty things? Ah, don't. Ah, dang it. Of course, you gotta be platforming across multiple platforms trying to hit something that uh, keeps moving. Why not? Why not? Okay. Uh, dang it. So he teleports, he's got these things, his platforming. Uh, yeah. 
I hope that I don't die, otherwise this guy is going to be in the running for worst fight ever. Spawning in all these... Ah, dang it! Second. That's not the button I wanted to push. Dang it! There we go. Finally. Holy cow. That took a lot of concentration. Drives me nuts. Let's see what your story is. Warm stillness. Sorry you frightened us. <laughs> no eyes. Yeah, well. I mean, at least his name is fitting. Face carved from stone. Nothing else, huh? This guy who just rips out Bug's eyes, yeah. Kinda glad I got rid of ya. Evidently dying means very little in this game. Not only do you particularly keep resurrecting, but as well, the, uh, the bugs that do actually die Leave a ghost that can still do pretty much everything and then some that their bodies did. So, yeah. Interesting, interesting concept of death here. I have been reassured multiple times that the doing anything with anything inside this game really doesn't lock you out. So, in the end, I want to at least get these things done. I mean, I've already at least unlocked this one for diversity, a seal. Oh dear. Seals must break. Forever. Forever. Oh, something else. Better an end. Interesting. Better an end to what? It's a question. Oh yeah, I forgot. I <laughs> have to focus. Uh, kind of a weird thing that they don't do anywhere else in the game. And then, like, suddenly while doing these things, then it becomes a mechanic. I, I really like that animation there. It's, it's so simple, but so, like, potent. It's such a, like, potent little story mechanic there. I like it. And even more stuff gets out. My goodness. This thing is just like leaking all over. I think it's the O-rings. You know, you might need to replace the O-rings on that seal. Kind of make it so that whatever it is inside can't really permeate. Just saying. You know, if you didn't put O-rings, then... Uh, well, there's your problem right there. I am trying quite hard to get through a lot of the, like, boring stuff. And I'll cut out all of, kind of, like, the movement in between. Especially for areas that we have definite Whoa, no one was coming for me. Anyway. Oh, hey, Corny. See. Ah! Dang it, I knew I should have kept the Geo. I knew it. This is why you always trust your gut, okay? Especially when you're a gamer like me. You, you gotta trust your gut. Don't sit there and trust that you're gonna have the ability to actually uh, find enough money when you have plenty but uh, yeah I've been trying to cut out a lot of the boring stuff or I'll be trying to cut out a lot of the boring stuff so that you guys don't have to keep watching me traverse all these areas that we've already been through ad nauseum I don't remember going in this hole what is in here 
out dang it death death is definitely in here just so you know jeez holy cow ah dang it i didn't even touch it okay this Oh, uh, this is gonna be problematic this is gonna be problematic uh, no. uh, yeah one hit deaths people well one hit more like uh, one hit is two masks uh, don't uh, of course of course if I can just ah well I could have done something with that had I full soul while coming in here no 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 e okay Whew. yes you are gonna hear some very strange noises as I try very hard to control my twitchy muscles Okay. Mm. Come on. And okay. There we go. There we go. All right. No, don't. Ah, uh, come on. Of course, the floor had to just drop out from under me. Of course, it did. I hope that it didn't close off the. Ah, uh, you didn't close off the area. No, no. Ah, uh, dang it. Huh. Make a beeline for me. Good thing is, is that I have that little soul container off to the sides. Ah, dang it. Come on, seriously? Seriously. And of course I was literally at the end. Oh, a charm notch. <laughs> That's freaking fantastic. Okay, well that is worth the the pain here you see now if they had more stuff like that in these annoying like parkour sections it'd be pretty awesome having grubs at the end of every single one is kind of monotonous and a little bit annoying but still fun but anyway having stuff like that now that's a reward oh hello what is this? Oh, hollow nest seal. Wonder how many of those things I have. Jeez. It's been a while since I visited Lem. Sure that I have a few things that he would be interested in at least. You know, I just noticed, doesn't it sound like there's a grub somewhere around here? Sounds like there's a grub somewhere around here. The question is, it's over on this side somewhere. There is this big old black area right there, so hmm. I can't climb up that way, but if I go over here and do a crystal dash, maybe it'll latch onto the wall or something. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Well, I guess that works too. See? Look at that. Huge gamer. And, woo. Look at that. Skills. Got the skills that definitely don't pay the bills right now. Which is why I still need to work. But, it is what it is. And, I mean... Looking at it, what the heck? What the heck? I knew it! I knew that I could see through it and that this thing was not... You guys are jerks. My subscribers are jerks, just saying. They love to see me suffer. There goes 3,000 some odd geo. You know how much... I could do with that 3,000 geo? Well, not really much because I've already bought pretty much everything. At least everything I know to buy. But still, I would like my geo. What the heck? Of 
course they would add a bank in here so that you don't lose money when dead, but then they just disappear with your money. Like, why not? Here, we're going to give you the experience of dying twice. Your true death. Without their... Oh, I keep forgetting that these things heal your mask. Anyway. So dumb. At least I have some stuff that I can trade for more. Jeez. I did actually forget to come up here, so I'm going to do that before going and selling my... My stuff. Fog Canyon. Finally, finally I can see things. You can take away that little geo symbol there, jerks. Okay, I decided I'm not even gonna worry about it right now. Just too much stuff to do, you know? Exploration, I don't even know what on earth I'm gonna spend the other geo on. It's down here, have I gone down here? I must have gone down here. Ouch. See a little black shade down there. This. Leave me here. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to get to everything that I had recorded. I mean, after all, I, uh, I have been. Or, I, I, I went a long time last night, like a really long time, sat there playing, so definitely more than I can cover in a, a single video. Hello, Gorb. Gorb! Great mind, Gorb, ascend with Gorb? Sure, why not? Okay, Gorb is not really a great mind. All he does is shoot out little pin projectiles. Oh, he's doing two now. Dang it. Oh, and that's fast. Okay, this might be just a touch harder than I had initially. In what the heck, in three? Expect. And. Oh, come on. Come on. Uh, no. Just. Ah, oh, come on, don't, don't do this to me, just... Okay. Whew. Oh, one hit anyway. Good. We were both on even grounds, and I came out the victor. Corb, the great mind, the pain. Yeah, I would imagine having a head like that, and being quite a bit of pain too. I should, uh, make a visit over to that, uh, that lady. The, the seer, or whatever they call it. Oh, there's something up there, too. And of course, I envy you guys. I mean, it must be very difficult to tell when it's me talking while I'm playing versus me talking with a voiceover, simply because, I mean, I play and I record, and then I go over and I record and give little explanations here and there. So, yeah, just kind of is what it is. I enjoy the format. I've watched a few of my things and I think that they turn out pretty good, but it's not really for me to decide. It's not for me, it's for you guys. Especially during areas in which I'm doing like heavy stuff in which I'm not really talking that much. So it's a lot easier for me to just interject little things here and there during these times in which there's not much going on. Anyway. Onward and downward. I remember there being a weird looking bug around here. Something that... Oh, look at this. Yeah, it was over here. Then... Corpse of a large bug. Let's see what you're thinking. corpse of a large bug. That's what you're thinking. Kind of strange. Oh. 
I don't think this was in here before. Oh. Kind of interesting carnivalish music. What the heck? What on earth did I just call down? Okay. Weird. What's with those, like, weird torch things? They look kind of weird. Anyway. Ah. I think that what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this tree here. And then... I'm going to let that be it for today. I think it should start getting a little bit faster pace simply because uh, like as I'm going through areas that I have been before then I'm gonna just kind of cut out the traveling in the middle and you know whatever sort of inane commentary comes with that then I guess that's just you know the price you pay in order to keep things interesting but uh, don't want to leave this room because then you have to go and strike that tree again happened to me in the forgotten crossroads before but yeah it's just kind of the price you pay for stuff like that yeah, I end up having to watch the time and you're like, uh, what is the best amount of time to put on your gameplay and have people enjoy it? I mean, I also have to do my, uh, my Dark Souls upload and stuff like that. Which is turning out pretty good. It's a fun... Uh, I like, uh, Dark Souls too. I don't know... I've heard so many bad things about it, like, I, it's kind of surprising to me that it is as good as it is with as many bad things as I've heard about it. But I suppose it could be something that they just kind of fixed in the way. So, they seem to be doing that a lot with games. Good thing is, is that Hollow Knight seems to be very, uh very well polished for what it is, you know? Ah, more stuff. But, uh, that... And they're coming out with that other one, the Silk Song, that has Hornet. I have seen the adverts about that. Of course, because I'm watching Hollow Knight content, so of course they have adverts about... Uh... Silk Song. I will 100% be playing Silk Song for sure as soon as it comes out, as soon as I know. So, evidently it's supposed to come out sometime later this year, but I never expect them to follow that. Anyway, I think that that's about it. Thank you all for watching and I'll definitely see you later.